This is a Yamamoto splitter. It looked in the zone until it wasn't. Welcome to Base Blab. There are so many definitions of a splitter that it's hard to know if you're even throwing one quote unquote right. Different grips, different cues, different ideas of how it should spin and where it should finish. In this video, we're gonna look at simulations of Yoshinobu Yamamoto splitter, and we're gonna focus in on what he's doing, especially the ones he threw in this year's World Series. First, the ball. We'll use 3D simulations and game clips to track how his splitter holds a fastball lane longer than you expect, then suddenly changes from what you thought it was. This one goes to his glove side with more of a 10-30-4-30 axis. This one just drops right down the middle with the same 10-30-4-30 spin. This have come against Yamamoto. Yeah, just a great job expanding the zone, going low, up. This one goes to his right arm side with a more of a 7 o'clock, 1 o'clock spin. Look at the dimples at the base of his index finger. His finger bends so far back it almost looks wrong. And that bend is one of the last things the ball feels before it leaves his hand. With his fingers, forearm, and wrists, he lets the ball travel deep in the tunnel before it finally decides to fall. Glove side, straight down, or arm side. Your leg motion, arm slot, and timing will be different from his, but one thing is the same. You need real finger control to even get close to this. So we'll finish with a simple bucket drill. Splitter grip, light throws, three buckets. Same body, same arm path on every elbow. The only thing you change is how your fingers press and release the ball to send it to the left, middle, or right. But the idea is that your arm motion will determine when you throw it further in a real pitch, what will override that and the, the way it'll go, whether that'll just be straight and then down. But this is just for the beginning of the of the pitch because there's no right or wrong way to throw a splitter i mean there's convention and general definition of it going and then splitting off but how you get there how yamamoto gets there it requires a tremendous amount of finger flexibility so making sure your index finger and your middle finger are super flexible making sure that you have strength and control in your fingers is so important Doing the bucket drill can help with this, but also just stretching your fingers, seeing how far you can get it to bend back to make that dimple with the ball in your hands. We hope this has been useful, and thanks for watching.